All right, so we are going to do a really, really rough test to see what some of the VDI numbers are for the Mana Core. Uh, my setup is not professional. Um, I'll go ahead and show that to you in a little bit, but it is not professional whatsoever. But this is going to give you a basic understanding of kind of like the sounds, and you're going to get to see what the uh, numbers come up as. So, like I said, not professional. Remember that, please. All right, so this is the setup. Uh, it's really well done. As you can see, I have taken into account everything uh, that I need to to make this the most accurate as I can. So this is what we're going to be going over. We're just going to be doing the kind of getting the tones and the uh, VDI numbers. So we got some stuff here. We got uh, lead weight. Um, we got a pull tab, silver ring, stainless steel ring, gold ring, got a silver ring, silver bracelet, silver earring, uh, pop top, casings, we've got silver Morgan, uh, we've got a silver quarter, half dollar, junk, and just so on and so on. So that is what we're going to be going over. Um, I'll kind of say it as we do it, and then you'll be able to see... Um, the screen and kind of see how it sounds and what the numbers are that are coming up. So, like I said, this is not professional by any means, but it'll give you a basic understanding of what to do with the mana core. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're going to start going over these. Um, I'll kind of call out what I'm doing and then we'll see what the number is and kind of what the sound is. All right, first we got, we're gonna do the Morgan dollar. All right, so we're looking at like an 88, 87 maybe. All right, we got the silver half. All right, we got 94 on that one. Kind of low 90s on that. All right, we got the silver quarter. Low 90s, all right, high 80s. We got the silver dime. So we're looking at the low 80s on that one. Let's go ahead and do the uh, regular dime, the clad dime. So we're looking at mid 70s. Let's do the clad quarter. It's got about mid 80s. Do the nickel. Uh, it drops down a lot. So we got 26 mid 20s and everybody's favorite, the penny. All right, got mid 50s on that one. All right, let's go ahead and do the gold uh, wedding band, men's wedding band. 36, 35. Let's do like a silver kind of fancy ring all right got low 60s let's do a stainless steel ring got a 16 ish around there let's go ahead and do we got a tungsten ring here a little jumpy not really high six high 50s low 60s all right let's do i got a little silver bracelet here okay mid mid 50s not too bad all right got our friend the pull tab everybody likes that all right low 30s not bad got our little pop top pretty jumpy so that that's kind of a good sign might be able to differentiate between those. All right, we got like a junk aluminum ring. All right, low 70s. All right, we got a silver hoop earring. All right. We got a silver wedding band. Okay, not too bad. High 70s. 
All right, we got a junk hoop earring right here. All right, it's kind of all over the place. All right, we got a lead bullet here. Everybody hunting. Uh, I'm looking for those. Uh, we got a lead weight. This is what I normally find out on the beach here. So you can see the lead bullet and the lead weight are different numbers on there. So here's the lead weight or the lead bullet again. And then here's the lead weight. So you can see that they're different. All right, we got a shotgun stamp. That's pretty solid, 28, 29. I like finding those, so that's pretty good. All right, we got a shell casing here to, uh, looks like a 30 out 6 30-06 shell casing. Kind of all over the place on that one. All right, we got a copper token. It's a pretty good sized token. Pretty solid 68, 69. All right, we got our buddy the roof tack. This is a copper roof tack. Uh, I find a lot of these around old homes. All right. And we just got a, a little button here. Nothing special, just a little button. Six. Not too bad. We'll go ahead and do, I've got my Apple Watch here. I find these on the beach sometimes, so we'll go ahead and give this a shot and see what it says. All right, loud. So basically, you're going to want to dig those loud targets. So that is the run through of all of that stuff. Let's see. All right, so I came up with a couple more things. Uh, we've got a key, we got an old aluminum token, we've got a pocket knife, um, we've got our favorite, the wheat penny. I can't believe I forgot that on the first go around. And then I found like a little Tootsie car. Um, so we're gonna start off with the Tootsie car. All right, so looking like low 90s. Uh, we're gonna do the little aluminum token. You're looking at low 60s on that one. Um, we're going to do the key. And this is a key to, I believe, a Yale lock. So low 30s, high 20s. And we're going to do the pocket knife. All right, looking at that. And then we got finally the wheat penny. I don't know if I just did this one or not, but we're gonna go ahead and do it again. So looking at low low 70s, high 60s, somewhere in that range. All right, so there you go. That is a quick run through of just a few things that you might find out in the field, find on the beach, uh, just a basic understanding, like I said, nothing special. It's just going to help you out just a little bit when you're uh, trying to figure out the Manicore and its new number range and its new uh, tones that it has. And it does a lot more than what we just tested, but this is a basic understanding of the VDI numbers and the sounds that they make. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.